Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. I can tell you right now, apocalyptic. I just walked out and talked to my wife a minute ago. I said, honey, something apocalyptic's happening. She goes, what do you mean? I said, well, first of all, in tonight's show, don't miss tonight's show. I mean, you need to go there right now and just sit and wait. Get in the front row, okay? Tonight's show at publiclyprophecy.com. That's www.publiclyprophecy.com. Also on livestream.com, blog TV, and blog talk radio the first two hours. Three-hour show from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get this. We've had an earthquake in China that's left 20 people injured and 700 homes damaged. Now, the earthquake was only 5.5, but it's where it hit and how hard it, it rattled. Also, we've had a record snowfall, Japan, more than two meters high. That's 78 inches of snow. Are you serious? Are you serious? And that's hit Japan, six people dead, including women and children that they know of. They're still digging out. But wait, it gets more apocalyptic than that. We got locusts in Egypt. Did you say locusts? Slap your grandma. What's going on? Something biblical's going on. Egypt. Tom Morton. Oh, oh, I forgot. Thank Troy. I want to thank Martyr. I want to thank Tom uh, Martin. Citizens have, are starting to burn tires uh, to create black fog to keep the locusts from setting in the city. Swarms were early reported to have reached Egypt's Red Sea, the city of Zafanara, some 200 kilometers from Cairo, but get this, and then the upper Egyptian cities of Quina, where locusts appear in at least three major villages. There were early reports of plague of locusts. Uh, experts could sit are hitting the Nile Delta. Folks, Cairo, Egypt, locust is descending upon Egypt. Now, the last time they had swarms like this, Moses was getting the children of Israel out of Egypt. Are you serious? Look at this picture. I'm going to show you this. I'm just going to try to give you that. Hopefully, you can see it. But that is the pyramids, and the locusts are swarming the air. I'm not sure if it's... This picture doesn't even do it justice. Are you serious? Get this, folks. We're going to talk about this. I mean, President Obama's getting ready to go to Israel. They're talking about dividing the land. Can I tell you something? And there's more. We got 220, uh, over 200 dead uh, rays. Get this, get this, in the Gaza Strip. Get this. I mean, what? They washed up on the banks of the Gaza Strip. Two, over 217 foot um, Madobla rays. Look at this. Are you serious? What? Something biblical is going on. But guess what? They're talking about dividing the land. They're talking about two-state solution. Egypt's Muhammad Mercy is called, declared a holy jihad on Israel. So he's got a plague of locusts. Uh, Gaza and the Palestinians are talking about dividing Israel. So they've got a bunch of dead rays wash up. There hadn't been one of them rays seen in the water near Gaza in six years. Not even in the water once. Six years. All of a sudden, 204, 220 different reports wash up on the banks. Dead? Bloody? Something biblical is definitely going on. Now let me just tell you something. Whatever's going on in the spiritual, many, many times manifest is in the physical. So, let me read to you what it says in Joel chapter 3. Uh, we're going to be talking, preaching about this tonight. We're going to be preaching on this tonight. You get everybody at the uh, at the computer. Get them all in the front room. Hook it to your television. Get the big screen up. You don't want to watch Sunday night TV anyway. It's garbage. Look at this. Joel chapter 3. The Bible says, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, 
whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people. They have given a boy for a harlot and a girl for wine that they may drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyra and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if you recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Thus saith the Lord. Joel chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Read that prophecy. So President Obama's on his way. He's going to be sitting down with Benjamin Netanyahu. He's going to enter into the city of Jerusalem five days before the Passover, riding his democratic donkey. Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem five days before the Passover, riding a donkey. They praised Jesus. Hosanna to highest. They threw their coats on the ground. They cut down the palm leaves. Obama's arriving with a Messianic-type presidency talking about dividing the land, parting the land. God's already sensing it. God's already hearing what's being said in secret rooms. And what happens? The stingray start washing up bloody, bloody rays, big rays, wash up on the beaches of Gaza, dead. Locusts begin to plague Egypt. What? What else is going to happen? Earthquakes hit China. Snowfalls fall in Japan. 700,000 chickens die in Mexico. 22 dead whales on the east coast of the Falkland Islands. Dozens of dead sea turtles, sea lions and turtles and dolphins and sharks wash up on the banks of Peru. 20 whales are dead. 45 of them on beach on the Strait of Magellan in Chile. Now listen what I'm telling you. Dr. Joe Glickman just sent me an email. Man, and I want to thank a high feather, uh, you know, when, um, Brother Edwards, I want to thank him. I want to thank all of you who've gotten this stuff to me. Dr. Joe Glickman sent me an email of every animal die-off since the Hosea prophecy began. I was going through the list a minute ago. It is incredible. And well, you think it's over? Anderson Cooper, uh, whenever, you know, look, when I was interviewed by CNN on radio... Whenever I was interviewed by them and different and different articles written, everybody just hoped this thing would go away. It's not going to go away. It's getting worse. You wouldn't believe how many things are, how many animals, fish are washed up, birds fly out of the sky. You wouldn't believe the numbers of deer and bison and buffalo and cattle and millions and millions of fish and birds. What? It's going to get worse. Read Hosea chapter 4, 1, 2, and 3, and then go read Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Oh yes, man is next. Are you saved? We're going to be talking about all these. And what about the sinkhole? The sinkhole in Florida. Swallow this guy alive. Swallow him alive. Again, right out of the Bible, another biblical uh, uh, a sign. When the sin of Korah took place, and the Lord swallowed 250 people. Outside the gates of the temple, because they were said they were they were they had more power than Moses and Aaron. Now we don't know why Jeffrey Bush died, why a sinkhole and just swallowed his entire bedroom. They still can't find him. He's dead. He's gone. Just swallowed him up, just like they did in the in the Bible when the 250 of them were swallowed and they were never found again in the Bible. Now we got the plagues of Egypt. Are you saved? Don't miss tonight's. Show. That's all I can tell you. Don't miss tonight's show. The water's turning red. The water's turning red like blood. This is where I was preaching in uh, New York City last year at Harvest Army Church International. I'm telling you, the water turns sea of blood. Are you serious? I'll be right back. Don't miss the show tonight. PaulBegleyProphecy.com. That's www.PaulBegleyProphecy.com.